ROG Raptor GT BE98 is a Wi-Fi 7 ready gaming router. And what does that even mean? Like, is this going to make me play games better? Well, kind of, because maybe because you are very ping dependent, your skill is already there, but your internet speed is not. So I guess this is a perfectly viable solution for that kind of thing. But really, when it comes to coverage, this one single big Chungus unit here has unparalleled coverage. And, you, and if you have like, let's say a whole gaming man cave with several desktops, yeah, don't worry, having the dual uh, 10 Gbps uh, LAN ports there, you'll get that unparalleled speed. But of course that depends on your internet package. But if you're like a Wi-Fi gamer and you want to get in on that 6 gigahertz Wi-Fi 7 glory, well, I'm pretty sure these eight antennas are gonna convince you that you're gonna get optimal coverage. But this, it seems a little too early, don't you think? Just having a Wi-Fi 7 router around when we're still just enjoying Wi-Fi 6E? Well, because like I said, it's six gigahertz, Wi-Fi 6E is also compatible with this router and you can still get into that six gigahertz range, which is a lot wider and a lot less congested because that, like, like, like what I said, there are not a lot of devices out there that support that protocol. So you will not have a lot of traffic interference, well, anywhere. And just like every other uh, ASUS router, all you need to do is install the ASUS router app on your phone, uh, log in with your internet service provider details and set up your SSID with your passwords and whatnot and you're pretty much good to go. That's what they're all about. And all the other conventional goodies are here from other uh, ASUS routers such as AI Mesh, AI Protection, the works. But of course, the differential factor for this router is that it focuses on lowering the important stuff like ping for your games. There's dedicated um, task management for uh, lowering those pings for games. It even supports WT Fast, which is something that you subscribe to for uh, game tunneling for optimal server ping if you're playing in other countries, just like World of Warcraft and whatnot in US servers in Malaysia here. So that makes a lot of sense. And of course, uh, quality of service or QoS, uh, constant optimization of that so that you can focus on just pure gaming. And of course, the other direct benefit is everybody gets better download and upload speeds. Uh, I'm currently using a one gigabyte line from time and even on my Wi-Fi 6 router, I'm just getting just still a fraction of that, but if I'm on LAN, it's almost 900 megabits per second. So I thought with this kind of router, I'm able to improve those speeds and of course enjoy that Wi-Fi 7 6 gigahertz internet goodness. When it comes to optimal coverage, well, like I said, this thing has you covered. It's got eight antennas to take care of business for you. And if you're on LAN, you can also configure it as an access point as well as a mesh for 10 gigabit and 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports. And I'm sure you're wondering, with all that download and upload speeds, this router is supposed to run super hot, right? Well, not really, because it's already specially designed to tackle all that heat, starting with a two centimeter stand to give it a little bit of raise, some aluminum heat sinks with special nanocarbon coatings and heat plates, and another heat sink right on top of where the PCB is, and all that heat comes out of the top case where there's a specially designed vent to dissipate up to 18% more heat. So let's take a look at some results. Here it is, here's the proof in the pudding. I'm connected to six gigahertz. You can see the Wi-Fi logo above says Wi-Fi seven. So let's do a quick speed test. Go. Hell's bells, that was quick. Wow, it's already at 900 over, that's nuts. All right, so it's about 907 megabits per second. Let's see the upload. Should be about 500-ish from what I see here. 502 megabits per second upload. And this is just on Wi-Fi. It's as though I'm on LAN. This results is just based on being in front of the router, being away 10 meters, 20 meters. The download and upload speeds uh, diminishingly go down, but not by a lot. It's just by a little bit. And of course, it's still way faster than my Wi-Fi 6 router. And it's crazy. So like, I can download things like Genshin in less than a few minutes, in just a few moments. And this is important for me as a tech reviewer because I play with so many phones and I have to constantly download these games. 
and these games on android are like huge like 20 gigs 30 gigs 40 gigs after install so i save so much time on my workflow and of course uh, my i get to enjoy better ping but it's not like i did don't anyway generally when i play games like call of duty i'm already getting like between 10 to 20 ping so obviously i'm not going to tell you that you buy this router you get better ping immediately i mean not necessarily but the fact of the matter is i guess you can really see the benefit if you're playing games with servers that are not in your region so like for example if i'm playing on the southeast asia server and i move to a us server my ping will jump from like typically uh, 150 to 200 and you'll probably see like a good improvement maybe you'll get to like 100 ping after that but like i said it's all about the servers these games are on and how they're hosted and the quality of those servers so take it with a grain of salt but when you want to look at a router like this a beautiful masterfully premium high-end router you definitely want to tell yourself that you are that one percent because this is not affordable to obtain and that's the ROG identity they are premium they want to be up there and if you're already on an ROG ecosystem this is something that definitely belongs in your house it's a gaming router with a nice RGB design I absolutely think this is cool so thank you guys for watching this is Ender Geek, and I'll see you guys in the next video